What's going on YouTube? Rob A here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Warbatron WB03-A uh, Turbo Ejector, <laughs> uh, their version of Technobot Afterburner, and uh, I was having a hard time remembering the name because, well, it's a lot to have to remember. A, my G1 knowledge, which is... Ugh, old and rusty at best, and then B, try to remember all the... the you know, nom de plumes these guys have gotten from uh, third-party companies or independent companies, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, you get this guy, this turbo ejector, in this really, really fancy box. Uh, much nicer than their uh, Bruticus boxes, I have to say. Um, and on the back, it's got the, uh, the contact information, orbitron.com, email, blah, 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 Facebook, 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 you can do all that stuff. Um, it's got a little slip thingy here. Whew, come on, come on, slip thingy, slip. Do your do what your name suggests and slip, bro. Uh, so you get this little paper sleeve. You can see Computron here on the back. Uh, this, again, this lovely, lovely packaging. It's got a really thick. Like, heavy, heavy, de like, I cannot express, like, so crazy and nice. Uh, so here's the figure inside this little window box. He's loose, unfortunately, and it looks like one of his guns has fallen out already. Uh, but that's okay, we'll, we'll make that work. Um, it's a little hard to see, <clears throat> but if you lift it up, uh, he's got this really nice uh, artwork of the character up here, Turbo Ejector, that's where it finally says his name. Um, so really, really nice. And then it looks like there's this pull tab on the side here. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's like, I don't know, like I'm expecting like cigars or something to be in this thing. I don't, I don't even know how to open it. So, uh, <laughs> really, really nice packaging. Uh, kind of crazy. Uh, just like I don't, I don't understand, but it's super nice. Uh, very, very polished product going on here come on focus up there we go and uh so i'm gonna struggle to get this thing out of the box without destroying it uh, i'm gonna do that off camera so i don't embarrass myself and i will see you guys in just a moment all right guys so in the box for turbo ejector uh you get a couple of things you do get a little baggie of spare parts like um like replacement uh gears and things like that for, I think, the uh, the ratcheting joints and things, um, but that's not really important. What I do want to show you is, like, the difference between uh, Turbo Ejector's paperwork and one of the other Warbitron figures, uh, like, for, uh, for their Bruticus. So, first up, here is, this is what came with Whirlwind, uh, as you can see, the, the instruction booklet, and the little card, all right? So that came with Whirlwind, not Turbo Ejector. But here is the card that came with Turbo Ejector. Um, and you can just see the difference, like, right away. Like, so nice right here. A little, like, silver <laughs> uh, metal flake going on back here on the back uh, with the little outline of Computron, uh, skill, strength, intelligence. Uh, very, very simple, very nicely done. Um, and then, of course, this paperwork. Whereas this guy came with this. So it's got foil printing on there, silver foil. It's got a really nice uh, image of the character on the front of the booklet, turbo ejector. Uh, very nice, clear instructions. Just really, really nice done. And again, the uh, image of Computron on the back. Now, honestly, I never had Computron as a as a wee lad. Uh, the only the closest I ever had, the only Technobot I had was Scattershot. Uh, I still have him. I do like him a lot. He's one of my favorite Transformers. Uh, 
toy wise that is uh simply because he was you know just a whole lot of fun to play with he had that giant cannon that you could make really really inappropriate uh if you so desired in his robot mode uh, but he was just a really really cool figure uh overall and pretty poseable if i remember correctly uh, especially you know for the for the time period uh you know amongst other transformers he was quite poseable but anyway uh, here's Turbo Ejector, uh, their version of Afterburner, and uh, as you can see, he's very, very techno body, uh, very cool. Uh, he's like a, you know, kind of a motorcycle sort of thing. Well, he's a motorcycle, uh, very, I guess, <laughs> 80s futuristic we'll go with. Um, very, very cool, lots of big guns sticking out of the front, uh, exhaust pipes coming out of the back. Uh, very smoky exhaust pipes, which I, I do like quite a lot. Um, and it, for some reason, I really like the color scheme on these guys, too. I, I think I prefer the uh, the Make Toys version uh, for as far as the orange that they use, because it's a lot like more vibrant. This is a little bit more like toned-down orange, a little bit more earthy orange, but I still really do like it in person a lot more than I thought I would. I wasn't even sure I was going to, like go in on these guys so this is kind of a test run but if the rest of these uh, figures are like this uh, I think I'm gonna be all in uh, for this Computron so the wheels are a little bit on the front they're a little bit uh, hesitant to roll um, and that's I think that's mainly because I don't know I'm not sure what it is exactly um, they seem to get a little bit caught um, through here like the pegs, the, the wheel goes all the way through. Like you can see when this turns, there's a piece turning in there. So I don't know if pegging the guns in on the side is like, you know, creating enough friction to stop the wheels from uh, turning properly. Uh, but you can plug the, the guns in elsewhere if you so desire. There's a couple of different spots. Um, but I mean, the wheel rolls it just gets it gets caught up sometimes and i'm not even sure what does it uh, all the time but uh it's really not that big a deal it's a big chunky wheel as you can see this is a big chunky vehicle which is awesome i really really do like it a lot um but yeah so he does come with these two guns of course which, uh, if you know me, you've seen any of my other videos, any of my Nerf videos, I really do like this color scheme, the black and silver and uh, copper uh, color scheme. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, yeah, very, very nice. Um, and as you can see, not a whole lot of, I mean, it's a very simple looking transformation, uh, but they do it in such a way that it's it's uh, really nicely done. It's very clean. Um, and, and just, I really do uh, like it a lot. So we are going to uh, transform this guy quick, quick. Uh, so yeah, again, it's a nice big chunky vehicle mode, like super, super chunky. And uh, I'm a big fan of that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop up these little, I guess we don't even have to pop those up. Uh, but we're going to just reach under here and pull these bits out. And uh, it's a bit of, I guess you can call this parts forming. I don't really consider it that much because these do just become weapons. Um, and there's, you know, the bike honestly looks okay without them. But they're not, you know, it's not anything egregious. They're, they're weapons. They turn into armor and weapons for the, the main character. But we're going to just take this chunk and put it off to the side for the moment. And then we're going to come up front and pop these two bits out just bring them back and fold them in like so uh, then we're gonna take this whole clear ish bit and we're just gonna kinda wiggle this up like so and then we're gonna separate the two parts we're gonna flip these bits in and just turn this around and just lay it down like so alright next up we're gonna come up here and just pop you'll see these two tabs that fit right in here on what is going to be the robot's torso and we're just going to click those up you can hear those nice ratchet clicky joints and then this bit 
the uh, the front wheel is going to come down and uh, just sit down like that and uh, these two bits plug in up here and lock that into place but we're going to take this whole section up and in and just plug it in that's going to be the torso and uh, even after it's plugged in look at that we got a wrist, uh, waist swivel very nice very very nice uh, so we'll separate the two leg halves now there we go and we're just gonna pull this down there we go and pull it down and there you go flip the feet up and the heel spurs back which are on these weird things I'm sure this is something for combined mode but I don't really know as of yet what that's all about uh, but that's okay so just we can stand them up if you want to then we're gonna pull these bits uh, here, let me adjust I'm gonna pull these bits out they do peg in at two spots here these are gonna be the arms there we go pull that out and down and we're gonna go ahead and get the fists out now because it might be a bit of a struggle yeah this is fun <laughs> So, just get the fist out as best you can. Ermagur. This might help, maybe. I don't know. There we go. Let's get the fist out. Come on. There we go. Got caught a little bit. Just close that right up. Let's see if this side wants to give me as much of a heartache. And I think. I think the answer might be yes of course of course Rob I want to give you heartache and pain here we go flip that up and like so we're gonna take this orange bit and pull it down and we're gonna take the back end here we're gonna separate let me turn this up a little bit more and this is pretty much what you're looking at for uh, our mode and we're going to separate these bits like so, bring them down. You can see he's got these nice little thrusters, and then flip these forward. And here we have turbo ejector in robot mode. Okay, so now that you have turbo ejector in robot mode, uh, first of all, look at how cool he looks <laughs> i really do like him a lot and you can tell he's by the warvatron guys he has the same kind of overall uh aesthetic that that kind of all the warvatron guys have had uh but he's different enough that it feels you know feels like a whole different character and this guy is like dead solid uh his qc is like it's it's a spicy meatball uh really really nicely done uh and i just i can't say enough this guy is like super super tight super clean uh all the parts they need to peg together peg together nice and solid um and he just looks he looks like he's from a whole different company and even the packaging and uh and the the materials inside as you saw look like they're from a whole different company so if this is the way warbitron is is moving uh i think it's fantastic i really do um so anyway uh, articulation is as follows he's got you know arms they go up they go down uh they go back and forth you know all the way around he's you know they do get in the way of this thing but you can also kind of move this stuff out of the way if you want to um, you can position these I guess out to the side should you so desire or back and forward uh, they do have a lot of a lot of uh, movement available to them and then he's got the, of course these nice guns that go up and the spikes I think it's super super cool uh, he's got the bicep swivel he's got the elbow joint he's got the wrist swivel uh, of course the head is on a nice ball joint and we'll give you an, a close-up of his head and those beautiful luscious lips mm, hey baby can i get your number mm -hmm. um yeah so really nice expressive head um, he's got the waist that we already went over he's got the nice ratcheting hips 
out to the side. They don't ratchet out to the side, but they are like super, super tight, super solid. Like not tight, tight, but like smooth tight, like butter tight, nice. He's got the uh, uh, upper thigh swivel and the knee, which does not bend terribly far back, but it's not really a problem. And it does bend forward as well. It's got that nice, uh, nice smoothness. Uh, he's got a nice posable toe and a uh, little heel spur as well. Uh, so you can, you know, tilt that should you so desire it to do so. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, his accessories are pretty great. And the only problem I'm having so far is just kind of getting these exactly right up over his shoulders. Uh, and they don't get in the way of the shoulders because you can move them out of the way as much as you desire. So that is pretty A1. Uh, so he has the guns, of course. As we saw, they have the little flip-out handle. And you can just hold on to those like so. And there's no crazy tabs or anything to worry about, you know, breaking his hands, which is super nice. And then these guys, which we went over before, this piece here, I uh, split just like so. And you can see there's little screws because you're meant to flip these little guns forward like so. And you can attach these kind of wherever you like. Uh, they can attach to his shoulders and become like bigger, thicker shoulder pads, which is cool. So if you're into that, you know, if you want to have big old shoulder pads, that's cool. Um, I prefer to attach these to his forearms. He's got this little peg hole right here. And they plug in just like so. Well, they plug in usually, look, there we go, just like so. And now he's got these little wrist-mounted, like, cannon sort of thingies, uh, which I think is pretty awesome. I really do like that. <clears throat> so he's got that going on. And, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty darn amazing. So, there you go. Very, very cool. Here he is from the back, and he's got these um, little kind of turbines in the back here. You can spin them around so you can, I guess, technically sort of fly, and you can position these uh, kind of down if you prefer, you know, so you can whatever. Uh, he's got the wheel on the back here, so, you know, if he needs to lie down and make a getaway, he <laughs> do that too, I guess. Um, yeah, so really, really nicely done. As you can see, he's, he makes good use of the stuff, like the panels and stuff fold up. And not only they fold up well, but they actually look kind of cool. Like, I like these little bits coming up over the sides of his boots. Um, just like little, you know, kind of sharp points. Um, I think they did a really, really nice job with this. And I'm really interested to see what they do uh, with the rest of of the Technobots, because I'm, I'm now I'm all kind of anxious to see, because this figure is just super, super solid, really, really well done. Um, let me do a quick size comparison, forgive the time and noise, but I didn't, I didn't really have this quite prepared, but, so here is Turbo Ejector, and here is uh, Sly Strike. So as you can see, they're right about the same height. Uh, yeah, pretty much exactly the same height. His legs are a little more splayed, so he seems a bit shorter. Actually, he seems taller on the camera, but uh, <laughs> at the head, he's actually a little bit shorter because of his legs. But as you can see, he's very nice and wide. Uh, he's got a lot of mass going on there. And uh, he is just really a nicely put together, very well painted, and overall well done figure. So. I'm very, very pleased with how how he turned out, especially for a figure that I just kind of bought on a whim, uh, and I didn't know how I was going to feel about it overall. Uh, quite honestly, I thought I wasn't really going to be that into it, uh, because I did really like uh, Quantron. I really, really liked Quantron, but I just couldn't uh, foot the bill for it all at once. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I was like, you know what? These guys are a lot bigger. 
um, you know, and he's available, and I'm buying a bunch of other stuff, so let's just throw him on the old pile of loot and uh, see how I feel about it. And I'm glad I did, because this dude is really, really nice. Even if I don't get any of the other uh, Technobots from Warbatron, I'll still be super happy to have this guy, because I love his alt mode, uh, I love his weapons, and uh, I just think he's got a really cool robot design as well. So very very pleased overall so that guys is going to do it for this review i want to uh thanks so much for watching make sure you uh subscribe and stay tuned uh, i've got more transformers coming real soon i'm a little tongue-tied i'm getting i think i'm getting a cold which is not fun but you know that's all right but uh yeah very very cool so thanks again for watching i really do appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now